happy Sunday afternoon everyone just waiting a few seconds for somebody to pop on and I have to go through in my mind I have to go through my little mental checklist to make sure that um, I did the airplane mode and I'm pretty sure I did we'll find out hopefully we won't get interrupted during this session but um, thank you all for joining me this Sunday afternoon wherever you are um, I had to close the blinds just a little bit because it is a little bright and sometimes a lot of that light I'm real sensitive to it hey Cindy glad you could join us this afternoon um, so if you pop on just say hi don't forget when you like comment and share my videos um, you get entered into drawings for the um, the lost my train of thought there for the uh, demonstrations that we do so if it's a card or a home decor project or whatever I'm demonstrating hey Landa I give those away so I do one and then I demonstrate one just to show you the products in action and so um, it's always fun to be able to give something away uh, to those that watch and that's a benefit of watching me so I like to be able to show you how to use the products and give you some tips and ideas and um, inspire you because we're here to create inspire and share that is the tagline for Stampin Up so I hope you guys are enjoying your Sunday afternoon wherever you are hi Veronica but um, if you've not watched any of my videos before my name is Barbara Ragsdale and I am an independent demonstrator with Stampin Up and I live in the San Antonio Texas area so if you're in this neck of the woods Bear County South Texas and you ever want to stop by and join a class or stop by and see what Stampin Up is all about just contact me you can contact me several ways hi Bonnie uh, through my website through my email you can private message me here on Facebook whatever's easiest for you so uh, thank you Landa for sharing Landa knows how important it is to share it's sharing is caring and so that helps everyone we want um, that helps give me exposure but at the same time it also allows other people the opportunity to join in on Sunday afternoons and be a part of the demonstration and learn about Stampin' Up! and get some uh, really neat ideas and learn some tips and just become familiar with our product. Um, Stampin' Up! is a paper crafting company and we do cater to all levels of crafters whether you've never heard of Stampin' Up! Uh, maybe you did it in the past, uh, maybe you occasionally do it or maybe you're a pretty avid stamper which um, a lot of the viewers here are stampers and demonstrators so um, I welcome anybody that wants to watch really so um, we all learn and we all inspire each other and we all learn from each other and that's important too because the Stampin Up! team the immediate team and the entire family as a whole um, this is our this is our craft this is what we love to do and we love to share it uh, with others out there so I hope you enjoy the projects today um, the projects today are going to be the cards for the November online monthly ordering special I always get that out of order I think um, but basically it's if you place an online order with me through my website and it's at least $25 or more you're going to get a free cut kit in order to make the cards that we're making today so everything is cut for you either it's die cut or it's punched um, the only thing that I can't do for you is the stamping part so you do have to have the stamp sets or if you already own the stamp sets then there you go you've got your little kit already cut for you so um, there's four cards and I'll wait till I point the camera down before I show you anything that way you can actually read it but um, the first thing I want to get out of the way is the drawing for last week so remember we made we made the two cards the oops that was the envelope there you go this one's blank because whoever's gonna win this I'm gonna punch out the letter to go in the middle so that it's more customized um, 
I didn't want to send somebody a letter R if their last name is Smith or Kelly or Cartwright. I wanted to customize it so and that's a super simple easy thing to add on to the end so let's go ahead and get started let's go ahead and get this pointed down hey Stella let's get this pointed down so that you guys can see there's the November host code so if you place an order on my website you want to use that code to make sure that you get credit and you get this particular cut kit and if you don't want to mess with that link and putting in that code while you're watching the video if you want to just scan that QR code that'll take you straight to my website and automatically plug in the code for you so you don't have to mess with all of that so um, I know there's that crazy glare again but these are the two cards that we did last week so we're going to be giving these two away and then there's also um, some coordinating envelopes they're just white I didn't decorate these but they're they're both white um, envelopes so uh, remember you get entered by liking commenting and sharing and by the way before I forget if you share the video tell me in the comments that you shared because when I went back last week and uh, was pulling all of the names I think I only read two people that marked they shared but Facebook had three people on there and I couldn't figure out who that third person was. So I think there's only two people on here um, that are in there twice for their share. So you have to make sure you tell me that you share um, so I can give you credit for it. So here's all of the people that were in there. If you like, commented, and shared. And let's go ahead and spin this wheel and see who wins these cards. Oh! Jackie Rosemond. Hey, Jackie. I don't know if you're watching today. I know you were last week, but I'll contact you. I don't think you've won before, so all I need is your mailing address, and you can private message me that, and I can get those cards out to you. But congratulations. Yay. See, and it was an R, so I could have left it an R. But I framed the other one that I did, so um, let me put this aside. And let me show you, this month um, we're going to be using an autumn suite. So if you have your holiday catalog, we are going to be using the Gilded Autumn Suite. Hey, David and Jessica. I'm not sure. It's probably Jessica that's watching, but I'm glad you joined us. But we're going to be using, um, in your holiday catalog, if you have it, it's page 44. And it actually does go all the way through 46. Uh, 47 picks up a different suite or a different bundle, but we're going to be using these cards and this paper, the designer series paper, the brush metallic cardstock, this basket weave uh, ribbon, the acorn trinkets, and then I'm pulling a an embossing folder from another set, the wrapped and textured embossing folder. So. Um, let me put that back on here. By the way, the whole suite uh, is $96.25. The bundle, and with the suite, you get the paper, you get the metallic cardstock, the ribbon, the acorn trink trinkets, the photopolymer stamp set, and then the three punches that we're going to be using today. Um, if you want just the bundle, it's $50.25, and you get the stamp set and coordinating punches. But if you want just the stamp set, uh, the stamp set's name is Beautiful Autumn, and it's $17. And you can still make some really pretty cards with just the stamp set. You don't need everything else, although everything else, when you put it together, is much, much nicer. But you can still make some pretty cards with without all of the extras there. And these are the four cards that we'll be making today. I know we probably can't see all of them at the same time, but see if I can sneak that in there right there. So these are the four cards that you'll get a kit for to make for November. If your or if your online order is $25 or more. So let's go ahead and get started. I've got everything already cut and ready to go. So we're going to be making this quick little thank you card right here first. 
And let me get my things out here for you. And we are working with a crumb cake card base. So we're going to get that folded. So we have our crumb cake card base. And then we have early espresso. Uh, let's go ahead and put this on the inside. This one is designed to be on the inside because it's kind of a, a darker card. So let's get this out of the way before I go accidentally cutting this and putting this somewhere. And I'm going to be looking at down here and not at my comments right now so if you join me thank you for joining us we'll get that down first and then we're going to go ahead and mount this piece of designer series paper which by the way if you haven't seen this paper in person it is gorgeous I didn't bring my little sample pack over here but it is gorgeous I've seen so many beautiful cards made with this designer series paper and it's a specialty designer series paper because I don't know if you noticed that but the back of it was a shiny uh, part and that's what makes it a specialty designer series paper now we got photopolymer stamps here so we're going to be using our little mat and then I already have everything mounted. Let me find the thank you. We're going to be stamping thank you in early espresso. And we're going to stamp this kind of over more towards the left. Give it just a little pressure and then bring it straight up. And let me close this before I get ink on everything. And then this little piece right here by the way there is a tutorial that comes with the kit so you don't have to figure out all of these um, let me get this centered here you don't have to figure out all these little measurements when you get the free kit it automatically will come with a tutorial a PDF tutorial with the pictures and everything so we're gonna get some dimensionals on the back here and kind of get this little piece ready now, anytime you have a piece of ribbon that folds over um, on your mat, you want to make sure that you put that piece down first before you actually put any adhesive down and put it down on your cardstock. Because after that, it kind of makes it a little hard to get it on there. So I'm going to go ahead and just put it on the top and bottom for now. Because this thing can get pretty sticky. And by the way, this is the Basket Metallic Weave Ribbon. It's gorgeous. It's so soft and pretty. And then let me get that cut. So I think it's going to be a six inch piece that is going to be in the kit. And then all you do is fold it over. And when you fold it over, you want to make sure your ribbon actually attaches to that adhesive. And then just pull it, pull it taut, but not tight. I think that's the proper way to say that. If you pull it too tight, then it starts to bend the paper, and we don't want that. And then you can get the adhesive on the rest of your cardstock. And we're going to mat this piece on top of this crumb cake base get that centered there and then I'm gonna take these off and I'm just gonna slide this back behind there here and we're gonna center this in the middle okay and put those down now I am almost done with this linen thread here. Hi, Catherine. So glad you joined us. We're making some cards today using a beautiful autumn sweet that we have. Now, in with the sweet also comes the little acorn trinkets. Aren't those cute? They are so cute. And they're heavy, too. They've got a little bit of weight to them. So what we're going to do with this 
I'm going to go ahead and thread, see if I can get it in there the first time. Oh, I did. Yay. I'm going to go ahead and thread this through and just hold this off to the side because I'm going to be taking a smaller piece of this thread, I mean this ribbon, and let me cut a piece. And I'm going to thread it through here. And I'm going to put, I'm going to make a really light bow for now. And I say light because I'm not going to pull it completely tight. I want to pull it through. But I'm going to take the end of this, one end of this, and see if I can get it back through there. I did it right. Um, there we go. I just pulled it through. And then I'm going to make a couple of knots. This piece of linen thread I pulled off is probably really larger than it should be, but I'm going to make a couple of knots so that this hangs on to this piece of ribbon. And then I'm going to pull that piece of ribbon tight. Go. And then your ribbon that's left, if it starts to fray like that, I'm going to use my, my old ribbon scissors because I love these old ribbon scissors. I'm just going to trim it there, trim it up a little bit. And then you can move this um, up or down a little bit if you need to adjust it. And then I actually would recommend putting a couple of glue dots. This is our take your pick tool. And I'm going to put a couple of glue dots right behind this ribbon so that it will not be moving on the card so there you go there's card number one this is the sample that i did and then this is um the demo card nice cute i love the colors and then you have an insert there on the inside so there's card number one and then card number two will go with this one and let me get my supplies for that one and we are working with a an early espresso base so let's get this base folded in half and then I have a piece of very vanilla that's going to go on the inside so let's get this one out of the way and get that on the inside now, when you're doing your cards, if you were going to be doing um, some kind of a greeting on the inside, I would actually recommend you stamping the greeting first before you go putting adhesive on it and sticking it on the inside of your card. And that's only because if you happen to mess up, then you don't ruin your card base either. So, But I'm not putting anything on the inside. All the cards I do are blank because I never know what people are going to want to have on the inside. Now these two pieces right here would equal a normal mat that we would do. So when you put these two pieces together, it's a typical size before by five and a quarter mat. I just cut them in half and then the top half I embossed with one half of the the wrapped in textures embossing folder. So I know you can kind of see that. Um, I don't even know what kind of a, I don't know, it's like a basket weave type of. So we're going to get that down first, which is going to be one half of our mat. And when we put this down, we want to make sure I'm doing it sideways just because it's easier for me to do it sideways. I want to pretend like it's a mat, a normal mat that we're doing. And then this is what I was talking about when I was talking about our paper being double-sided. Not only are there two designs, but with the specialty paper, the other side has a really pretty shine and a sheer to it. And this has gold and brushed, uh, it's like a copper. But we're not using that side, we're going to use this side. And that's the hardest part, is picking a side because the paper, any paper that you use, is gorgeous on both sides. So there we go. And then 
Um, Y'all know me, I love to use the tasteful labels for almost everything. And so, um, because it's a very, very versatile stamp, I mean, a die, a die cut set. So we're gonna be using this particular die, but before we go putting anything on there, let me get the mat and we'll be stamping in early espresso. And by the way, I'm going to change the sentiment that I do on this one only because um, there's another card that has that, that greeting on it. And um, I wanted to make sure I did one card with every greeting. And I guess I that was kind of an afterthought. So I'm going to change this card's greeting to say life is better with you. And so let's leave that out because I'm going to need that and I'm going to need this. And the one color I didn't bring over here is crumb cake and I need to go get that. Okay, so here we go. So now that I have this piece on there, let me go ahead and get this on with some dimensionals. So we're just gonna put some dimensionals on the back. Got a piece that got stuck on there. That wasn't supposed to stick. That kind of looks bad. Oof. Yeah, our adhesive, depending on what you're using, is sticky. Whether it's a glue dot or a dimensional or our new seal. Let's get this in the middle. All we're doing is centering that. Get that off. And then I have this strip of uh, very vanilla here because we're going to be stamping these um, leaves and this acorn. And we're going to be using three different colors. We're going to be using early espresso, uh, crumb cake, and Cajun craze. So let's get, I've got everything already mounted. This maple leaf looking thing, I'm going to do in Cajun Craze. And with this stamp set, there are two stamps for each one, depending on what you want. So for this one, what I did is I stamped the image in Cajun Craze and then the fill-in image of that. I'm gonna stamp it in Cajun Craze, but I thought I had a piece of scrap paper around here. I'll just stamp off over here. I'm gonna stamp off and then I'm gonna stamp, let me see if I can get right above this, over the image to fill it in, but I want it to be a lighter color. give it a little pressure and then that way it fills in the leaf but you can still see the design in the darker Cajun craze okay so we're done with Cajun craze let me go ahead and use early espresso and with early espresso we're using uh, I'm gonna do the acorn we're gonna do all our stamping first and we're gonna do two of each Okay, and so we're done with early espresso, and then the last of it, we're gonna be using, uh, oh, you know what, I have mint macaron too. Thought I had all my colors here. Sorry, there was a fourth color there. So for the acorn, what we're gonna be doing is there's several stamps that go with that one. There's the image stamp, and then we're gonna be doing the coloring. So for the top part, we're gonna be using full strength Cajun, um, crumb cake, I'm sorry, crumb cake, to color the top part. There we go. 
So see, there's color there. And then we're gonna flip it over and use the other piece to it for the color on the bottom part, but we're gonna be stamping off on that. And that's a technique, if you haven't seen that done before, when you stamp it and you stamp it directly onto something, you get the full strength. But when you stamp off a second time, and back onto your image, you get a much lighter version of that original one. So we're gonna do that a second time. There we go. So there's our little acorn, and we're done with crumb cake. And then now we have mint macaron, and we have the leaves, the other leaf. There's two different leaves. Okay. Okay. And we're gonna do the same thing with the stamp off technique with this one. We wanna give it some color, but we don't want it to be too dark. Here we go. Let me close this up. Well, hi, Darla. Glad you could join us. And then these are the punches that go with this particular suite. So let's punch all these out. Just line them up. It's easiest to do them upside down. That way you can see exactly where you're going to be punching. And get this one out. Oops. Oh, things all flying. And then we have the little acorn. See so how much so much easier to have the punches that coordinate with this. Or even if it was a die. But even if you didn't, you could easily get that back over there. You could easily um, hand cut these, although it may take a little bit more time. Some images are pretty easy to to fussy cut, we call it fussy cutting. Let's get that one punched. And then this one as well. There we go. These things just went flying everywhere. Okay, so we're done with all the stamping. And then I have some mini dimensionals that we're gonna put these down with. So dimensionals come in a couple of sizes and a couple of colors. And these are the really tiny ones that are perfect for um, little projects like this. And all you do is you put one of these on the back and they have little bitty backings that you have to peel off that exposes the other half of that adhesive. You could easily take a large one and cut it in half if all you had was larger ones that back there. Get these off. And you can actually put these any which way you want them on here. This is just how I did these cards. Darla says, I love this bundle. This bundle is so popular, you guys. I didn't check. I actually did not check the status report um, before I got online, but the last time I looked at it, there was low inventory on, I don't know if it was just the stamp set or if it was the paper or what, but something was low inventory. Excuse me there. All right, so there you go. There's card number two. Um, the original one said my heart's grateful for you, but I switched it to say life is better with you. Both of them are equally pretty. But it's only because this one's larger and it's on the next card, so yeah. Oh, thank you, Catherine. Thank you. So yeah, that's card number two. I love it. And then this is card number three. This one's gonna be super simple. I'm trying to keep that one super simple. And we are working with a very vanilla base. So let's get that folded in half. 
Use our bone folder to help crease down that edge. Our paper trimmer does the same thing, but sometimes it's easier just to do it that way. And then we're going to be matting this piece of designer series paper, which, by the way, um, this is this one side is the specialty side. And then this back has this like herringbone kind of uh, design in early espresso and very vanilla. Darlow says, by the way, did I win anything? <laughs> No, you didn't. Jackie Jackie Rosemond won this time. She won those two cards that I did last week where I was trying to show you uh, when I did the, the two um, Kirkland's projects. And I made them kind of Stampin' Up! style. There we go. So that's pretty easy. We're just matting that. But... Uh, we need to put the ribbon on, so before we put the ribbon on, let's get some adhesive on both sides. And then let's cut a piece just a little bit wider than the card. Let's get that stretched over. Fold over, make sure it gets that adhesive so it doesn't come off. And then fold that back over. And then let's go ahead and mat this down to the card. That's all the matting that we're doing with this one. Make sure it's going the right direction. Okay. Make sure you center it. You can hover it and then kind of center it a little bit until, until you can get it in place. Because y'all know it's kind of difficult to pull that back up once it's once it's down with our adhesive, especially the new adhesive that's super, super sticky. And let me bring this back out so that I can stamp the sentiment, which is, my heart is grateful for you. And we're going to be stamping this in early espresso. And uh, this is another one of the tasteful label dies. And look at the edge of that. There's some really pretty edging to that it's not a stitch but it's still an edging so when you go to stamp on these pieces make sure you're stamping on the right side because look at the back side it's very there's nothing there so you always know if you're stamping on the right side when you see some pretty detail to the front of your die cut and then with these photopolymer stamps it makes it so much easier so that you can actually see where you're stamping. And there's my heart is grateful for you. Let's get that out of the way. And let's get some large dimensionals on the back of that. I'm going to put it on the top and on the bottom. And the reason why we're doing it on the top and bottom is so that it will straddle that piece of ribbon right there. And actually stick to oops you know what before we do that I forgot almost forgot a step it's this piece right here this piece is the same piece as this piece right here but we're gonna mat it I'm glad I looked over to the left and all we're doing is cutting this piece in half so let me look over here you can certainly use your um, paper trimmer if you need to but I think I put those, I know I did, I put these on a little bit too prematurely, so let's do this. We're still mat it that way anyway. We'll just mat it on here, and then I will give away the sample. So when there's a die cut that does not have a mat that's a little bit larger, this is our way of making a mat so that it looks like... It's got another piece behind it that's a little bit larger. There we go. And I'll just put some more dimension. Also, it'll have an extra layer of dimension going on here, but that's okay. It'll still fit in a regular envelope. And there we go. Now let's straddle this over. Okay, so there you go. There's card number three. There's the sample that I did, and then there's the one that we just demoed. So, 
I think I like the sample one better. So when I go to give these away, I'll make sure that I give that one away and I can tell. Y'all might not be able to tell, but I know I can tell. So there you go. There's card number three. And then the last card is this one. And let me fish out the supplies over here. It got buried under all the other ones. And I've gone ahead literally and done everything on here. So we're just putting this one together. And I've even cut out the little pumpkins and the little squash. And all these little pieces and done the die cutting. Now the base is Cajun Craze. Love this color. It's like a burnt orange, burnt sienna kind of color. It's gorgeous. And we're going to be, there is another piece right here of very vanilla that is the base for the inside. So let's get that on. Get that out of the way. Remember, if this, if you were doing this card, you want to stamp your little sentiment first and then put your adhesive on and then put your piece on the inside. Now, this piece right here is the same embossing folder, but this embossing folder is a mini embossing folder. So all I did when I went to emboss it is I put it, I ran it through one side and then I tried to shift it over as best I could to where it would overlap but not be too crazy. Um, and that's how I got the rest of it. But I know I can tell there's a line there. Um, so I was off just a little bit. So you could do another design if you wanted to um, that gives you the full coverage. I just didn't want to have to break out another embossing folder for class which by the way um, this is not only just an online ordering special but if you want to attend this month's class to make these cards I think the class is on the 13th I think it is and you can attend that class so let me get my, get all my little pieces here uh, when I was doing this design these little pieces right here are mint macaron, these cardstock pieces. There should be four of them here. I think two are stuck together somehow. Well, I don't think there's any left over here. I think there's two pieces stuck together that I am not getting. Unless one went somewhere. So I have four pieces of these. I'm gonna make sure something didn't fall. Or something's not still in the in the baggie here. Hold on. No, there's nothing in the baggie. I may have to quickly cut another piece of this mint macaron, but we'll go ahead and do that last. We'll go ahead and get these um, actually on. And you can tell from the card, uh, I'm going to try to get them on in the order that I have them on there. So I'm just going to put some seal on the back of each piece. I'm fiddling to make sure if there's an extra piece on there. And we are just matting these in the center of each one. I may end up having to cut a quick piece in order to get to finish this piece. I'm sure it's just slipped somewhere and I'll find it after we are done. Try to get that on there and get that one centered. And then I have this piece. I don't know why I'm thinking that one feels thicker than the other pieces. We'll get that one on. Okay, and then I'm gonna have to cut, I guess I'm gonna have to cut another piece of the mint macaron for this one because I don't see, unless y'all see it laying somewhere right in front of me, which is a huge possibility, but 
I don't see it and it's not a loose piece over with the supply so but let's go ahead and stamp our little greeting let's break that back out and break out the early espresso oops actually we're not doing it in early espresso this one I went ahead and did in Cajun craze I was trying to coordinate with the base and this one says have a beautiful day so let's get that one on there I'm gonna stamp this kind of over to the right in the center give it just a little pressure and then bring it straight up okay so I really need another piece of, of mint macaron so let me go get a piece of mint macaron. I don't know, you know, I went over there to go get a piece of mint macaron and there just happened to be an extra piece that was already the same size. So I think I accidentally put this piece back over with the um, uh, scraps that I had. So, yay! I'm glad that worked out pretty quickly. I didn't have to go cutting anything. So let's mount that one on this piece. Okay. And let's bring this back over. And we're going to be mounting these um, flat. We're not gonna be using dimensionals on these. So I'm gonna try to put them in the same order that I had on the card. Try to get these centered and then evenly spaced at the same time. And I'm generally not a ruler person, so I just wing it with my eyeballs, which sometimes seem to fail me. Trying to center these and space them out a little bit. And then just press it down. Get that one on there. Give that one a little pressure. And then we're going to put this down with some dimensionals. So let's get a large dimensional on one side. And because it's a long piece, I'm going to put one in the center. And then I'm going to put one off to the right. And let's peel these off. And we're going to put this in the middle and kind of hover it a little bit over the edge of that last one. Get that one down. Darla says I would definitely need a ruler. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I probably should too, but because this... Um, because this has some lines on it, it kind of helped a little bit, but that would probably be the only way I would be able to truly get it on straight. I'm just putting some dimensionals on the back of these little pumpkins. And if you're asking, where did I get these little pumpkins? Um, I don't have my scraps over here, but the designer series paper um, that looks like this, there's a whole sheet of it. I just took like half of a sheet and found... Um, the images that I needed uh, and just manually cut these out because there's no dies with these so you have to manually cut those out and there's several different kinds there's the pumpkin and squash and a zucchini looking one I just picked three and then I'm mounting them behind each other and I'm using the mini glue dots I'm sorry, these mini uh, dimensionals. Get that one back there. And then with my, my linen thread, I'm gonna make a double bow. It's probably super long, longer than I need it. I'm gonna make a double bow. And then I'm gonna end up having to trim it for sure 
Let me see if I can get this pretty close the first time. I'm not happy with that. I'm not sure what happened there, but I know it kind of cut out. All right, I think that piece is too small for me to work with, so let me do this. Let me make a larger piece. This is good hand therapy for me, but sometimes it can be frustrating when things don't go. And then I looked up and saw that Facebook was trying to reconnect, and I was like, oh, here we go again. There we go. Whew. Okay, and then I'm just going to pull this down a little bit so I can make my little bow piece smaller on both sides because I don't want it to be a really big bow. I want it to be small. And then I'll just take my paper snips and snip off some of the excess here. Now with a glue dot, I'm going to put a glue dot right behind the center of that bow and we're going to stick it right there at the base of where that stem is on the pumpkin. Catherine says it's very good OT for yes it is it is especially for me it keeps my hands moving so there you have it you guys um, that was the sample that I did and then this is the demo that I just did and let me break back out the other cards so there was um, card number four card number three card number two and I hope we can see this one over here but card number oops, there we go card number one so there you go you guys thank you Bonnie yes these are all for the cards and then here's the rest of the stamp set by the way the beautiful autumn stamp set. So you can see um, I used the leaves, the acorn, the top, the little fillers. The only one I didn't use is, um, what is that? I don't know what that is. It's like another, oh, it's like a pine cone. There we go. I didn't use the pine cone and there's some little other little leaves images there. And there's also a uh, fifth greeting and it says, hey there. So I've seen so many beautiful cards using this particular um, stamp set. And then there's also with that ribbon, it's actually a, a combo pack. You've got this basket weave ribbon, but then you also have this copper um, metallic, uh, kind of like a copper metallic ribbon that's part of that ribbon combo. So there you have it, you guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed the cards today. And don't forget, these are the cards for the month of November. So if you place an order on my website and it's at least $25 or more, you're going to get a free cut kit in order to make these cards. And everything will be done for you. There will be tutorials. Um, the only thing you have to have is the stamp sets and the inks um, that's the only two things i can't do for you but um i hope you enjoyed the cards and next week let me get this pointed down so i can sit back down Whew. and next week by the way um i'm going to be doing because we're getting close to christmas time i'm going to be doing um, some gift card holders so if you want to learn how to make some gift card holders using stampin up products um, just join me next sunday afternoon at 3 p.m